Hey, how you doing guys? Um, this is probably my most exciting video, at least for me, because Apple has announced uh, during their Worldwide Developers Conference 2019 that the uh, Mac Pro, uh, the new Mac Pro is going to be released this fall. Uh, in fact, it's so early that I don't even have pictures to post yet, but uh, I'm gonna tell you what's everything that's going to be uh, included with the new Mac Pro and they're gonna have a new um, display monitor as well and as far as the Mac Pro it's gonna be made with a stainless steel frame uh, encased in aluminum now the aluminum frame or case can be totally removed so it'll give you 360 degree access to uh, the Mac Pro as far as being able to uh, replace the uh, expansion cards and things like that. Uh, upgradability. Uh, you can get a CPU Intel Xeon up to 28 cores. And in fact, the power just for the CPUs alone, you can get up to 300 watts. Uh, six channel memory. They're also going to uh, be giving you access to eight PCIe slots. So you're going to definitely have a, uh, almost twice the amount that you did with the, the old cheese uh, grater Mac Pros. Uh, there's also going to be a separate I.O. port card. Um, it's going to give you things like Thunderbolt, USB, and things like that. Now, the graphics is probably the most interesting. Um, they're going to have, uh, I think, a uh, choice between two graphic cards. They do come in modules, I believe. Um, I don't know if that's through uh, the uh, PCI uh, e-connectors. I'm not sure. Maybe. Uh, and this is what they call their MPX module. And the module is going to have two different choices of graphic cards. The uh, Radeon Pro uh, 580X or the uh, Radeon Pro Vega 2. Um, now also with the Radeon Pro Vega 2, uh, you can also get um, two cards for one module. And... Uh, What's also interesting, you can use dual modules. So you can actually get um, Radeon Pro Vega 2 times 2 uh, is two modules. So you're actually getting basically four graphic cards in two modules. Now, I don't know if you can do the same thing with the uh, Radeon 580X or not. Um, as far as um, putting in two modules. Now that comes... Uh, since these are probably going to be proprietary modules, um, I'm guessing you can still put in uh, a your own card. Of course, AMD fares uh, far better than uh, something like uh, NVIDIA. So you might be able to buy the uh, graphic cards cheaper and put them in yourself. Um, now, most interesting, they're going to have their own afterburner card this is proprietary and it basically does the same thing as what the red rock card does and it speeds up the um workflow if you work on red uh raw footage and basically that's what this afterburner card is going to do and it uh, features an fpga programmable chip as well i'm not sure how that works um that's basically going to give you six billion pixels per second um hardware acceleration for things like Final Cut Pro and other um, probably third-party applications, I'm guessing. So basically you can do three streams of 8K Red Raw for an example. So you can see the power of this new Mac Pro. Uh, this is gonna come with a 1.4 kilowatt power supply. Um, and uh, I'm trying to remember what my old Mac Pro has. I think it has a thousand watt power supply. So it's, uh, I'm guessing 400 kilowatts more, I'm not sure. Um, now we're going to get support from up to 14 different manufacturers for support of this Mac Pro from uh, Avid, Red, um, Maxon, and others. Um, now this comes at a price point of um, $59.99, almost $6,000. And I kind of knew it was going to be expensive, which kind of prices me out. Of course, I've always known once my old Mac Pro gets too old to use, uh, I'd probably move to a PC. Um, now that's a base, base price, uh, and I, I didn't have time to write it down. I believe it features the eight core uh, Xeon processor, but uh, that's gonna be the base price configuration. Obviously, the more you add, the more uh, expensive it's gonna get. 
But most interestingly, the Mac Pro is also going to be coming out in a rack deployment. So if you want to use a Mac Pro as a rack device and have multiple Mac Pros, you can do that now. So that's um, really surprising since they got rid of the XServe uh, way back when. Now we're going to go into the monitor. Um, now they're kind of combining. Um, now they call this the Pro Display XDR or Ex uh, Extreme Dynamic Range. And they're actually combining some of the features of a reference monitor. And of course, a reference monitor usually are very expensive. And they give you the most um, accurate color scheme compared to other monitors. And that's why they tend to price uh, pretty high, as much as $43,000. Um, so basically, this is going to be about a 32-inch LCD, 6K retina display with an anti-reflective coating. Uh, it's going to feature a P3 white color, 10-bit HDR at a thousand to one contrast ratio a thousand nits brightness base which can be uh that brightness can be maintained forever um with 1600 nits peak okay using the new mac pro you can actually run six of the displays at once i'm guessing this is going to be through the uh, thunderbolt and uh so that comes at a base price of $49.99, almost $5,000. And that kind of prices me out too, but that's okay. Um, I have some of my uh, older Mac Pros. Uh, I have a 2015 Mac Pro uh, D700 graphic card that's going to last me quite a bit longer. Uh, I'll be able to upgrade as far as the operating system and a few other things. So some really exciting news, that's for sure. Uh, it may price a lot of people out and they'll have to move to PC or other. For a lot of other professionals, they may be actually upgrading uh, from the older Mac Pros to the newer ones. So uh, love or hate it, uh, I think it's uh, very good news for Apple. Um, so finally coming out with a ultra, ultra expandable Mac Pro along with a new display. So uh, thank you for watching and see you guys later.